Hi, I'm Ted Raddick with the Courier Sports Department. I'm here with Michael Burwell and Dave Hahnemann, and we are into week seven of the football season. Michael, you got the big game this week. You got Pandora and LB, and boy, this is a big one. This, yeah, Tell us all about it. This is huge. Uh, Pandora's uh, tied atop the BBC standings with Macomb. Both are unbeaten BBC, and Pandora's still the only uh, only unbeaten overall left in the BBC. But LB is just one game back. Uh, they are four and one in the in the league, and uh, you know I I don't know what to expect. I think there's going to be a lot of points in this game. I think I think both offenses are really clicking. The last three games, both teams are averaging like 50. Five, 50 to 55 points a game so I feel like it could be a shootout and I mean this is this is enormous especially for Pandora they haven't won a BBC title in a really long time since 1999 and this is one of about one of a couple really huge games for the Rockets to end the year so uh, both team state ranked LB got into the division six poll at number 10 this week and Pandora is number four I believe mm -hmm. in division seven um, well, let's put it this way. LB's the team that's that needs to play from behind in the league standings. So mm -hmm. tell me, what do they need to do to win? They just gotta they gotta slow down uh, Pandora's offense. I feel, and that's that's a tough task because they're really playing well. And I think <clears throat> LB needs to finish the game strong too. Uh, the Lipsick game that I saw, they got they started off and just could not could not be stopped offensively. They 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 jumped out on top early on Lipstick and then couldn't do much the rest of the game. So if they get off to a good start, they just got to keep a pedal to the metal because obviously Pandora can, can score in a hurry too. Okay, Dave, you'll be up in Toledo this Friday. Uh, Finley plays Toledo St. John's. Uh, yes. Key game. Every, well, I mean, let's face it, every game's a key game for Finley uh, from here on out. But uh, this, right. is, this is yet another must win for the Trojans. Yes, it is. Uh, they're running a four-game winning streak, and they're four and two. And St. John's is three and three, but uh, it, it's it's two St. John's. They've always got two or three, four Division One caliber athletes on there. This year, they've got uh, once again two huge linemen that are supposedly going Division One. Um, you got a new head coach, and they've got a uh, a new quarterback who's been um, less than outstanding so far, but. He's, he, when you're playing at St. John's, and uh, just the just the atmosphere up there, and the names on the jerseys, that can be intimidating. If Finley's not intimidated, uh, you know they're playing well, especially defensively. I think they stand a chance, but they're going to have to play a great game and eliminate mistakes. Okay, this Friday I will be at Van Buren as the Black Knights host Corey Rawson. Corey Rawson's the team, Michael, that they don't have the most outstanding record. They have proven over the last several years that they have the ability to jump up and bite people. They mm -hmm. did it to Riverdale last mm -hmm. year. They did it to North Baltimore the two years before that. Mm -hmm. You could never count the Hornets out. No, you can't. They, I mean, you just never know what to expect. They can, they can pick up a random win here or there. So, uh, and they did play know. Riverdale tough last week. Mm -hmm. so. They did. All right, that'll wrap it up for us this week. Uh, be sure to check thecourier.com Friday night and the Courier on Saturday. And next week, we will begin to talk about the postseason. Michael, quick Jim Moore impersonation. Playoffs? Playoffs? <laughs> I'm talking about playoffs? And there we go. Be sure and take your waitress. He'll be here all week. Thank you for watching.